bluff. Uh, those of you that are in the back standing other than law enforcement, we need to ask you to have a seat. Thank you. Once again, welcome, and I hope everyone had a good weekend and a good start to the month of February. The agenda for a regular meeting of the City Council of the City of Poplar Bluff, Missouri, to be held on Monday, February 1st, 2021, at 7 p.m. in the City Council Chambers, 301 South 5th Street, will now come to order. Please rise for the invocation by Councilwoman Lisa Parsons and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Please bow your heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day and the blessings you've given us and we thank you for this wonderful city that we have to live in, Lord, and just be with us as we make decisions for the future of Papa Life. We ask these things in your name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Please join me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, Clerk Young. Councilwoman Parson. Here. Councilman DeGarris. Here. Councilwoman Horton. Here. Councilman Cornman. Here. Councilwoman Taylor. Here. Mayor Pro Tim Davis. Here. Mayor Smith. Here. We do have a quorum. Thank you, Clerk Young. Item five, disclosure of interest. Any member of the city council may disclose any possible conflict of interest dealing with either any item on the printed agenda or with any matter discussed at a previous meeting. Hearing none, we'll have item six, citizens input. Each person in the audience may take this opportunity to address the city council on any matter which is not on the printed agenda. We have, we have Mr. Spencer Jones. Please state your name and address Hello. please for the record. Spencer Jones, 904 North Garfield. I have not been here for quite a while, and so certainly I wanted to make sure that that we stay on course here. Uh, I talked to Mr. Cabin, who couldn't be here tonight. He was called out of town. And so I want to thank you for an opportunity to, uh, to uh, speak. I talked to several gentlemen, Mr. Steve here at the beginning. Thank you for the information you give me and Matt. That, that was encouraging, and I appreciate that. But what all of us must remember that we into our fourth year of working on these projects. And uh, I don't like to blame anybody. The only thing that I will say, because I work with people all the time in every phase of life from government, police, school, on the thing, it's not what you expect of a person, it's what you inspect. And I know that we're working on the paperwork to get to the rest, to the legislature, and we want to make sure that we follow up with these people because if we don't follow up, then we find ourselves right back here next year without any progress at all. And I, it's just the nature of the human being. All of us are busy. We're busy doing stuff. But just as I talked to a pastor in Florida, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, on Friday, and he was telling me he's too busy to call me. And I said, sir, you can't sell that to me because it's priority. And we must make this a priority of that street because I travel all across America, just spent a month in Florida, and every city I went to had a King Street. Or every city I went to had a black policeman. Every city I went to had a, a black fireman. But we don't have it here, blah, blah, blah. Now, I don't blame you guys. I blame primarily the black community because I've learned in dealing with people, whether they're gangbangers, drug dealers, politicians, whoever they are, people do what you allow them to do. And that, that's my conclusion. 
with that. So I believe you guys. I, I'm very impressed with Mr. Matt. I believe his spirit is good. I believe that he's committed to it. But I also say that, you know, you're working with other people, and sometimes we give them assignments, and they don't have the interest that we have or you have. So my prayer is that we constantly give these people a call because, as you know, this is the beginning of the lecturing period. And, uh, and if we let that slip away from, we don't just let that slip away from us, then we've got to wait till next year. So uh, my, my hope and prayer is that uh, we stay on it, stay with them. I'm encouraged by the progress I'm hearing and from Kevin. Kevin feels good from you guys, but we've got to stay on it and stuff like that. So maybe you can make a comment because uh, others are asking me what kind of progress we're making. Are we going to get anything done? And, and you don't want people to grow hopeless because, you know, when people grow hopeless, then we have discouragement and that kind of thing. So if you can comment to anything along that line. Sure, just kind of like, I, you know, I've talked to Kevin Ellis a couple times. Um, I, he was here at our, at our last meeting, I guess, and kind of yeah. um, came up and spoke. And we've talked text since then, and I've, I had a meeting scheduled with some of our local legislators that had to get canceled because of various reasons. Yeah. We're working on rescheduling those and moving forward. So, yeah, we appreciate you coming and your comments. And it's, I've, I've enjoyed getting to, getting to know Kevin and, and yeah, he's appreciate a, working. He's a great guy, yeah. 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 Well, thank you. Let's all work together. I believe in working together. I believe when people work together and people make things a priority, you know, I'm very, I, I, I work with uh, black and white preachers, and I'm telling them the fact that we have to be intentional. If we're not intentional, we don't get anything done. That's all. That's all. Right. Thank you for your comments. Workshop items for discussion. The City Council will discuss, will consider certificates of participation relative to the financing of the proposed police department facility. Mr. Winters. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, included in your packet were several of the, the legal documents required for the um, certificate of participation, certificates of participation, which is, you probably recall from Jim Lahey with Steeple coming and making a presentation uh, back a couple months ago is the the mechanism we're using to finance the construction of the police department. Um, those are getting close to being finalized. Uh, Mr. Lahey will be here at our uh, February 16th meeting um, to present the, the final uh, draft of those documents to be voted on. Uh, just to kind of recap a little bit on where we're at. Um, you know, the, the, the total project, including construction and, and professional fees and the purchase of the land and everything totaled approximately $12 million. Um, we're looking at, uh, you know, 20 year project and, and paying back the total payback will be approximately $18 million. Um, we are looking at, uh, you know, kind of, we, we did get some good news this week. You know, when this project first started, really what, what I was told and even Mr. Massingham before he retired is that we should expect after going through the rating process with, with Standard & Poor that our credit rating for this project would be either a low grade investment or, or they wouldn't rate it at all and found out this last week that we actually for this project ended up with a triple B plus rating which is going to save us substantially in the interest that we're paying back. Um, you know kind of another thing I you know I I've enjoyed working with Stiefel on this project. They're the underwriters, and they're the, actually the ones that will go out and sell these certificates of participation. That, and uh, because we got such a good credit rating on this project, the fees that they pay, their, the commission they pay their salespeople to sell these certificates is reduced, and they're passing those savings on to us too. So some good news on, on the financing front of it. And uh, if you have any questions, I'm glad to i answer them for you. Like I said, Mr. Lahey will be here on the 16th with the, uh, for the voting session um, and also be able to answer any other questions you might have that come up between now and then. Please. Motion, we move this uh, to the voting session February 16th. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 
Opposed? Motion carried. It'll be on the 16th agenda. Item B, the city, the city council will review the contract between the city of Poplar Bluff and Navigate Building Solutions, LLC. Mr. Winters. So this is kind of, uh, we've had different discussions about um, navigating their services. You know, I, I uh, Todd Sweeney and Joe Schweitzer that work for Navigate have, have been working with, with us and then with the architect on this project since it started. You know, I think they've brought some valuable services to the project to this point. Um, however, I think as moving into the construction phase of this project in, in reviewing their contract and the architect's contract, I, I think it's time for us to um, terminate that contract would be my recommendation to you. Um, you know, they, they were acting kind of as our, they have been acting as our representative, um, kind of our, the go between between us and the architect, us and the contractor, and um, moving forward, the, the, the architect's responsibility in the construction phase are, are really going to be sufficient to carry this project on to the end between the architect and the responsibilities that myself and other city staff will have, and I, I feel like we could reduce the costs um, associated with their services to the end of this project and, and uh, move forward with it. <laughs> kind of talking to, you know, if you have any questions about, about the contract, about Navigate, about the architect, I'd be glad to answer any of them um, that you might have. You know, I, like I said, I, I've reviewed their contracts. Um, Mr. Richardson, of course, has uh, reviewed them with a little more expert eye than I have, and, and it is an agreement that, that we we do have the option to cancel their contract without cause. Um, you know, not like I said, I do think they've brought some valuable services to us, but I do think that we are uh, more than capable of finishing this project with the architect. So, to um, let's. I right. certainly agree with you. Uh, I think we can go go, go it on our own from this point. I mean, they've done good work, but I think it's time for us to go go it on our own and do it, get it done. Any other comments from the council? What was the savings going to be? Uh, their projected cost for the construction phase was $270,000. And that's over 18 months? Yes, correct. I'd like to make a motion that we terminate our contract with them and any thing in the stuff with the uh, architect or anything where it says contact navigate that we have the city manager fill that mm -hmm. uh, position. They can keep us informed and they're going to keep uh, everything going. Okay. Or any other city official that he deems necessary. Do we have a second to that motion? Second. second. Okay. And a voice vote is sufficient. We need not move this to a voting session, right? Correct. Okay. All in favor of the motion? We need a roll call. Roll call. Do you want to do a roll call? Okay. 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 Well, then I'll have to have a motion for a roll call vote. No. So moved. No, we can. Okay. Roll call, Clerk Young. Okay. Councilwoman Parson? Yes. Councilman DeGarris? Yes. Councilwoman Horton? Yes. Councilman Cornman? No. Councilwoman Taylor? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Davis? Yes. Mayor Smith? Yes. Motion carries. Okay. The motion carried. The contract is terminated. Item C, the city council will consider implementing a $7 surcharge or fee to go sp specifically to the statewide court automation fund. Mr. Winters. 
Thank you, Mr. Mayor. The, uh, the state of Missouri is implementing a statewide system for their courts called Show Me Court. As part of this automation update, the city will be required to collect a $7 surcharge for each case that is processed through this new Show Me Court system. Uh, this fee will, as the mayor stated, be then directly passed on to the state of Missouri. Uh, the, the right now, as of today, the schedule is that we will begin, the city and our municipal court will begin using this system on May 1st. Um, this is a program the state's um, moving towards for all of their court systems to be on the same um, electronic system. So this is, we're simply uh, collecting this and passing it on directly to the state. Um, we just require a, um, a resolution and ordinance uh, for that, for us to be able to collect that and pass it on. Now, Mr. Winters, can you explain to the general public uh, how this affects the litigants, the people that are in the court system? The ones that are currently in our court system, it will not affect them. This will only apply to cases that are entered into the show me courts once they're once the process is fully put in place which right now is anticipated to be May 1st and this will be attached to any fines or, or fees that's correct. assessed that's correct. okay okay thank you any further discussion on the item we just want the general public to understand what's going on here I've had a couple of questions about about that, so I think you've done a good job in explaining that. I make a motion moving to the February 16th voting session. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. That concludes items for, for discussion. Action required items. Bill number 8287. The City Council will take action on an ordinance accepting a bid for the construction of the proposed police department facility to be erected at 911 Shelby Road. Motion for first reading of Bill number 8287. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Councilor. An ordinance accepting a bid from Brock Miller Construction, Inc. of Farmington, Missouri for the construction of a Popper Bluff Police Department facility. Motion for second reading of Bill 8287. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Counselor. An ordinance accepting a bid from Brock Miller Construction, Inc. of Farmington, Missouri for the construction of a Popper Bluff Police Department facility. Motion for adoption. Second. Any further discussion? Roll call, Clerk Young. Councilwoman Parson? Yes. Councilman DeGarris? Yes. Councilwoman Horton? Yes. Councilman Cornman? Yes. Councilwoman Taylor? Yes. Mayor Pro Tim Davis? Yes. Mayor Smith? Yes. Thank you. Bill number 8287 is adopted. Okay, we don't have any further items on the agenda. The, um, the chair will entertain a mo motion to adjourn following the city manager's report. Make a motion we adjourn the city manager's report. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Mr. Winters. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I don't have a lot to report. Um, I did want to um, recognize our newest city employee that's um, in the audience I probably should have told her I was going to recognize her before the meeting but I didn't <laughs> <laughs> as many of you know our accounting manager uh, resigned for another position towards the end of December and uh, we recently hired Miss Laura Stagner Kreitz um, as our accounting manager she started last Monday I believe a couple of y'all have stopped by and been by the office last week while she was in, but for those of you that haven't, I just wanted to recognize her. If you want to give us a wave, uh, <laughs> there she is, and uh, we're glad to have her on and look forward to uh, um, 
are contributing to our team at City Hall. So, um, other than that, I don't have anything else for you this evening. Okay. I would like to thank everyone for being here and continue to uh, <coughs> wear your mask, uh, wash your hands, and uh, maintain a safe distance. Good evening. I know she was going to.